Hey everyone, um, so we have, I started making videos, still trying to figure out this YouTube thing, and I, I'm still trying to figure it out, but I decided to get back to um, making some videos, and so I made the one last week where we, uh, where I just walked around and showed you some of our animals that we have right now. Uh, didn't even say anything in the video. It was just a short, quick, simple video. Um, as you all know, he, everyone goes through different seasons of life. And sometimes we do more homestead and farming stuff. And sometimes we don't. And we uh, have a son who races go-karts. A daughter who does dance. Um, another daughter who, you know... We're, we're who's in middle school fits go to high school so we're, we're always um on the run and busy and everything else and and just life just changes as we go but we still enjoy the the homesteading life we we have a garden um right now uh our primarily primarily our I guess you could say kind of our crash, cash crop on our farm is we have lots and lots of pecan trees. So during the fall, we picked up lots and lots of pecans, uh, about 700 pounds of pecans, and we sold those. Um, we were doing things on the homestead and, and, and farm, but I just I didn't take the time to make videos of it. But uh, anyway, so we... Me and my husband both work full-time jobs. Uh, he's a truck driver. I'm a bookkeeper for a timber company. and um, But I work in a small town. It's the town we live in. We live right outside this town. Very small town. Um, so there's absolutely no restaurants in this small town. And... Uh, so I come home every day at lunch, for lunch, and um, right now I'm cracking Easter eggs, uh, boiled eggs left over from Easter to eat for lunch. But um, so every day I come home from lunch and uh, fix me something quick to eat. And I like to one of the things I do when I come home from lunch for lunch is I like to after I get done eating walk outside. I, uh, I let the chickens out, um, just walk around, check everything out, just see kind of what's, just what's going on. It's kind of my time. The kids are typically at school this week, spring break, but they're at my cousin's house, but um, the kids are typically at school. My husband's typically at work. It's typically just just me, so it's kind of my my little time that I get to walk around see everything just kind of enjoy it we live in such on such a pretty piece of property and we take it for granted 90 percent of the time because we're wide open and busy and and don't slow down and enjoy what we have and i think a lot of people can relate to that but um fixing to eat my eggs and uh head outside and look around okay well that got cut a little bit short um i had my nephew came over and was talking to him and all that. But anyway, so sorry didn't get to see the animals and us feeding up and all that. But um, like I was saying, on Tuesdays my husband Tyler doesn't come back home after he uh, does his run. He goes back up and does another run. So normally at lunch, I don't feed up. I just let the chickens out, kind of look at everything, just look at the garden, different things like that. But on Tuesdays, a lot of times I try to go ahead and knock out my feeding chores, especially now that the it's day and day a lot longer. It's not as big of a deal. Um, but back when it was getting dark earlier, by the time took my daughter to dance and got back everything else it was dark and I didn't want to feed up so anyway I'm uh, headed back to town now to go back to work um, got to run by my parents house and do something for them real quick 
um, they live just a little ways from us, but they um, live in town, so I'm going to go by there and do something for them before I head back to work. Uh, the, uh, what I was going to say while I go, the, um, frost, the cold weather we had come through actually came through, was it Friday night? Good Friday night? Saturday night? I can't remember. I think, yes, it was Friday night. So, we had planted our potatoes. We couldn't plant them on Valentine's Day this year like we normally do or close to Valentine's Day because our garden was so wet we've had such a wet uh winter first part of spring so we had to wait till like the week after valentine's or the week after that i can't remember it was like two weeks later but anyway we had our potatoes um planted but good friday when that cold spurt came through we uh all of our potatoes got a little bit of frost damage not i think they'll be okay i think it's just kind of the tops the, there's some good looking leaves down at the bottom so i'm hoping they will keep the plant where it can survive but uh and a few of our english peas may have gotten a little bit of frostbite our broccoli plants and cabbage plants still look awesome they're doing really good so we can't wait for those to continue um to do better i don't think we'll get any more cold weather the pecan trees like i said we have a ton of pecan trees almost probably 30 trees i would say but uh they're all budding out real green and budding out a whole lot and I've always been told if the pecan trees are budding out then you don't have to worry about any more cold so hopefully they'll be good to go so guys I'm almost back to town and headed back to work so uh, catch y'all next time thank you